Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, with me today, I have Mayan Hicks out of uh, Arlington Pantigo Christian. Um, actually, a little fun fact, we used to be in the same district way back when I was there um, at Riker, and pretty glad that we're in, that he wasn't there at the same time that I was because he he's kind of a do-everything, all-over-the-field type of linebacker, and that's one of the things about TAPS that you kind of have to do. A lot of people will brush off TAPS um, just because it's private schools and things like that, and it, and it kind of stinks, but if you're a person like Mayan here who's all over the field and does every little bit of everything, that's how you get noticed in TAPS, and he absolutely does that. Um, I believe there's one source, I'm blanking on it now, but they do a lot of ratings and I think he's listed as the number three linebacker in Texas right now. So he's no slouch. You can definitely see it in his film as uh, it's playing right here. Um, he, he's definitely one to keep an eye out on. And he's got a whole two other years before it even makes a decision on anything because he's 2021. So a lot of those guys we've had on the show here recently, not a bad thing at all. I love watching younger guys, especially when they're sophomores playing on varsity. He's tearing it up as a sophomore on varsity, and he's got two more years to improve. So it can only get better from here, and he's already good. So, my man, how are you doing today? Good, good. How about yourself? Doing well. I'm really glad to have you on the show, man. Thanks for having me. All right. Hey, so what have you been up to this off season? Uh, You know, I've been working on my footwork, working on uh, getting more flexible with my hip flexors. Um, I've, I, I play baseball and track also so i've been doing that too the busy life life of a high school athlete <laughs> sometimes yeah. you forget uh whenever it's been so long and doing this show i am quickly reminded how busy a lot of you guys actually are um what do you play in baseball or what position do you play in baseball left field nice uh and what do you run in track um 204 by two. Oh, good speed events right there for you um so you mentioned that you've been working out. Is there anybody in particular that you're kind of working out with right now? Um, a good coach uh, I have at the school who's a former trainer for the Los Angeles Rams, and he also worked for Arkansas State. So he's able to use his connections to give me some good workouts that are college level. That's, that's no slouch right there at all. One, you've got NFL-level talent. Um, to help you on a bunch of things, to know what it takes to succeed in the pros. And Arkansas State for years now um, has been kind of a, uh, what do you want to call it, I guess a builder school, so to speak, that they've always had coaches go there and move through on to bigger and better things. So Arkansas State's definitely not a slouch at all um, when you look at that. But that's awesome that you have – that kind of hands-on talent working with you um, yes. to help you improve in your game. Um, are there any camps that you've attended so far? Uh, I've been to the opening combine, the rivals combine, and then I've been to the Polynesian Bowl Showcase in Las Vegas. Oh, wow. You traveled for one. That's really cool. I didn't know that you went out uh, all the way over there for one. Yes, sir. Uh, um, how was the opening for you? Um, it was my first time ever at a camp, but I think I did pretty well. Do you know what your score was by any chance? It was around uh, a 75 to an 80. Hey, that's not bad, especially for your first camp, going in there blind, not really knowing what to expect on a lot of things. That's yeah. definitely not bad at all. And like, like I said at the start of this thing, you're a sophomore. There's plenty of room to improve on all these things. Um, do you have any school-specific camps that you're looking to attend? Uh, I'm looking forward to going to SMU, Baylor, and possibly TCU. Hey, TCU is a great defensive-minded coach uh, with Patterson. That's a great way to get noticed. Um, not sure about SMU off the top of my head, but being uh, a reporter for a lot of the Baylor athletics, I can tell you that is a great way to get noticed Um I forget how many the exact number on Baylor recruits last year that they signed earned a scholarship at camp. So it, it's no slouch when well, I know a lot of times at camps people will say, "Oh, it's just they're there for certain people; other people don't matter." 
not for a lot of people. There's a lot of cases out there for a bunch of different schools where that's where you can earn a scholarship. So you go into camps ready to go, ready to work. You can earn it big time there. Yes, sir. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, do you have any visits that are lined up right now? Um, I'm looking forward to this summer trying to go to uh, SMU, TCU, Baylor, and Iowa State, and possibly also um, UTEP and Abilene Christian. Abilene Christian's getting thrown around quite a bit here lately. Um, I'm not sure if it's a new staff or not, but they're offering some studs in Texas. And I said the other day they're a program that I need to check out just to see who they're offering. I'm definitely going to have to because there there's a lot that's going around on that. But you're the first person to mention Iowa State. What kind of draws you to Iowa State a little bit? It's just the environment. I I want to go to a school like that with the crowd and the intensity. And then on top of that, it's something I've never experienced going that far away from home. So it kind of it's kind of exciting to think about. Hey, they're doing great things right now. Um I'm blanking on his name. I'm sorry. I can't remember uh, their coach's name right now. I just know that he's doing awesome things up there um, and just absolutely killing it. And they're definitely it's a, a dark horse in the Big 12, so to speak. They're not like a OU or Texas, but they're definitely somebody that can make a run and put, put a hurt on you big time. Um, so any other schools that have really been in contact with you? Uh, just a few D2 and D3 and NAIA schools. Hey, any talk is good talk. So <laughs> as uh, long as as long as you're getting noticed and getting a chance to play at the next level, that's something to look forward to. Um, yes, so what are you looking forward to the most about going into your junior season? Uh, I'm just looking forward to getting better and improving uh, to show that I have the ability to play at the next level and that Playing private school is, it's a, uh, it's no different than playing public school. Boys who can play can play, and I feel like I can do that at the next level. Absolutely, and the the best way I'm not sure what y'all's non uh, non district schedule looks like, but um, I know for us we played a ton of uh, public schools in our non district, and that's a quick way to punch the people in the mouth to say no, we're for real, we're here, we mean it. Um, so man, that's awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do in the next two seasons. Um, one thing before we go, just curious, because I like to ask this question. Anybody that you could play for, I know you have a long time before you make this decision, but if there's anybody that you had a chance to play for, who would it be? Say I'm open to playing anywhere <laughs> that I feel is uh, make me comfortable and feel at home. But if I had to pick a specific place, I would probably choose Texas. UT? Yeah, Tom Herman's doing some great things down there. Um, yes, he's got them back on top where they used to be all the time. A um, little bit of down years in Charlie Strong, but, I mean, hey, they're, they're doing some really good things, and their defense is probably playing better, better Texas defense than I've seen in a long time. All right, Mayan, it has been awesome having you on the show with me today. You're definitely one that I'm going to be keeping up with as the season goes on. Um, from one taps guy to another, good luck to you, sir. I hope the season's everything that you want it to be. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yes, sir, absolutely. You have a good one, man. You too.